hey y'all welcome back to my channel so it's about like 9 30 and i'm currently starving so i have blue sunday here well, i got the signature noodles with the california roll sushi so i wanted to talk about the infamous spiritual journey um i was hesitant to do a video like this because i feel like again just like how i was talking about how manifestation the word manifestation is played out spirituality has become a trend and for me it was never like that so in this video i'm going to basically first off explain how i started my spiritual journey what a spiritual journey is and what i have learned from it the stuff that it has taught me or helped me with and yeah the realization that we're just a soul living in a body and then also coming to that realization that life is in your hands your life is in your, in your hands anything that you want you can easily get you just need to control your thoughts and that's what it comes down to so that's how i would define a spiritual journey and it's the process is different for everyone your process is not going to be the same for mine just like routines just like anything everything is going to alter so as i mentioned in my previous video the key to life how to stop taking life so seriously whatever i mentioned that december 2020 is when my spiritual journey really begun but before that I was aware of the things that I've been practicing currently, but I wasn't practicing them. So when it really, really, really started, just the acknowledgement part was October 2017. And shout out to my friend Krista. She's the one who introduced me to the secret law of attraction. And she told us, she told me and my friends about this movie called The Secret on Netflix. So check it out, guys. It seems a little boring and you may feel like you already know certain things going into it, but it's telling you step by step how to manifest and what you need to do. And it also shows how some celebrities practice this and that's how they got to where they are now and so on and so on. So what I did recently is rewatch the movie because I've already watched it like three times. I want to say I rewatched it and I also wrote in my journal. I, like I started manifesting in my manifestation journal, I, like being grateful for God putting me into a specific spot that I haven't reached yet, but I'm getting closer to because I'm manifesting. I'm putting myself in that spot. I imagined it. I felt it. I thought it. I wrote it down. I was even crying watching. The movie because I felt like I was in that position that God is going to bring me to and it's to say I advise y'all to do something while watching that video because it is kind of boring <laughs> but it's very informative so October 2018 I watched the movie and then started doing small manifestations like I was using it like a game for real. I wasn't using it as a practice as a way of life I was using it like okay this person is gonna text me <laughs> in three days blah 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 or I'm gonna find $20 outside of my school building and I kept saying it and saying it trying to imagine it believe it and if it didn't happen I was just like this doesn't work and that's really not how you play the game <laughs> I was just fooling around and was trying to see if this was real over small silly things rather than long-term goals and stuff that was actually important so I, I after that I was just like forgetting about manifestation it was just like okay this don't really work whatever whatever all that then after that fast forward to the year 2020 when corona happened and again, like I said, I already was aware of certain concepts like 
the fact that life is not as serious as we make it that no one really cares about what you're doing <laughs> like people are so worried about how they're perceived when they're worried about how they're perceived and you're worried about how you're perceived so they're not really worried about you you're worrying about you more than they're worrying about you so I already knew some of the things that I realized now on my spiritual journey but I didn't I didn't remind myself you know it was just a thought that went in my head and came whenever it was convenient whenever I wanted to give advice to myself or give advice to others but I wasn't really understanding that to its fullest extent but corona happened and you know i was in the house i'm a i'm big on catering to myself evolving all the time self-reflection all that good stuff so that's all i could do besides school so i was doing that constantly and like i mentioned I'm, I'm referring back to my video because I feel like in order to completely understand this video I gave a little the basics of my understanding about some things in my previous video but TikTok spiritual TikTok also really expanded my mind and the information regarding the concept of life and what's really going on How, what I believe is really going on because I feel like perception is very important now I realize that we're literally just our souls are in a body bag. <laughs> like this, this nothing matters. That's when I, when I'm when I say nothing's real, nothing matters, life isn't real, whatever. When I what I mean by that is we're all going to die, <laughs> and not in a negative way. That's just life. That's just the reality. We're just experiencing life through our bodies. So when people care so much about materialistic things or their grades or how they're perceived, it doesn't matter at all. Like, <laughs> this is heading a little too too much <laughs> so December 2020 a lot of things were going on spiritually so there was the conjunction everybody knows that as December 21st when you got your superpower blah, blah, there was I think a full moon or a new moon one of the, one of the two and it was just a lot of that going on and TikTok was informing me of what happens on those days what to do like whatever it was, the new moon and full moon, right before the new year in December, I released like spiritual TikTok was telling me to release all of um, the negative things that are holding you back. So I released anxiety. I released um, what did I release? Overthinking, um, confinement, negative thoughts, and something else something else something else but i burned i wrote the um i wrote those words down and i burned it outside and i released it and i feel like believe it or not like some of these things might sound cliche to you like astrology might sound cliche all that but it's because you guys are like those people who perceive it as that it's because they're not ready to understand it they're not mentally there so when people don't get astrology that's fine that's okay like you're just not ready for that yet <laughs> so i personally felt like releasing those things really helped like i have been a lot more i have been a lot less anxious my thoughts have been more positive the only thing is school has been weighing me down i haven't really grasped a control on my mind when it comes to school i always i'm thinking like oh my gosh i have to do this work like that's the only um part of my life that can really get me to a low point everything else gucci straight <sighs> i feel like so december 2020 is when i was like okay like i'm really feeling this then january 2021 i um i bought my first crystals from the crystal shop crystal fox in my state and 
I haven't really been using them to the extent that I could because school has been in the way. And then also, like I mentioned, I have notebooks that I've been writing in that has helped me track my thought. And I also follow some like good YouTubers, only two so far, that are interested, like that talk about um, spirituality. And I'll put them right here as well. So yeah, like that's really what it was. It was just the secret spiritual TikTok and then other YouTubers or creators that inform me of more things regarding life so what is the point of this like what have I learned like <laughs> so I have definitely like I mentioned calmed my anxiety trigger warning trigger warning <laughs> I warned y'all I feel like anxiety and depression is very much mental completely mental like you can take yourself out of depression you can control your anxiety it's all your thoughts like i personally feel like please ignore my camera but i personally feel like anxiety is the fear of the unknown what could happen and just fearing the consequences or what could happen and it's all mental like instead of overthinking and analyzing what could happen just do it <laughs> just do it and face the consequences afterwards it's the fear of facing what could happen and then depression is consuming your mind with negative thoughts constantly and feeling like there's nowhere out no way out and you're just digging a hole deeper and deeper and deeper and that's what depression is so I feel like my spiritual journey has definitely eased my anxiety and reduced my negative thoughts. So reduced my depression <laughs> because I'm aware of it being me and in my control and no one else's knowing that I have the power and I control everything <laughs> that I am consuming, you know? It also has made me more aware and build my self-worth. I've always been a very confident person, but everyone knows that no one is confident 24-7. If you think you are, you're not, because I know you're not, but it's okay. If you, if you want to say that you are, then okay, I, I'm not stopping you. But no one, I believe that no one is a 100% confident person. But I have been training my thoughts and doing practices of like self-care rituals since probably like middle school almost every single day and I'm not anything that I say in this video I'm not just saying it trust me like I'm literally giving genuine advice and speaking from experience almost every other day or every day I thank God for just being who I am and it's really the internal part of me because I feel like I have a such a genuine heart <laughs> and I'm just a very nice person I don't expect anything from anyone I just want to be around good energy and that's rare because people believe it or not people are just out to use you <laughs> And that, and for me, it, that, that was hard for me to accept because I just saw a tweet, it was like, um, when you're a good person, you believe that you will attract good people or people will be good to you. But in all reality, that's not the case. Like people are just gonna be who they are. And I couldn't wrap my mind around that because I'm always like, it's because something I did, but it's just like, it's them. It's them projecting. Like when people hurt you, it's because they're projecting their insecurities on you. And that's just, that's just what it is. That's just life. And I feel like if I didn't experience certain things that I experienced, I wouldn't be able to share my perspectives and my lessons. I feel like I would just be a happy-go-lucky person, but it's okay to go through traumatic experiences. It's okay to get disappointed. It's okay to have to go through things 
in order for you to build character like it's never it's again it's all about perspective it's never a bad thing that has happened to you because whatever is quote unquote bad you've learned from it so there's nothing that's bad everything is good everything is happening in your favor you just have to believe and see it that way so i feel like my spiritual journey has definitely helped me with those two things reducing my anxiety slash depression quotes on that and building my self-worth it's also taught me to be more in tune with my emotions understanding why i'm feeling this way or why i'm not feeling this way or why this person is feeling this way or calming down and not getting so upset i, I don't let people get me out of my character because Again, I'm understanding that I'm in control of everything and it's all about perception, your perspective. So yeah, that's all for today. If you guys want any specific advice to go in depth about a certain topic that I have touched, whether that is how to get in tune with your, emo your emotions and feelings or how I have or been building my self-worth um or whatever the case may be if y'all have any questions concerns thoughts comment down below let me know and yeah so i'll see y'all in my next video hope you enjoyed